So this is a workout that I believe any undersized guard or really any player who wants to become crazy skilled in general can benefit from. Especially as a smaller guard, you're going to have to be creative. You're going to have to find new ways to do things. You're going to have to step outside of the box a little bit. So you'll notice just that in this workout. Now this workout is going to be more of an all around focus. So we'll touch a little bit of everything. But in my small guard program, I go into 18 different tools or skills that you'll need as an undersized guard. So make sure to check that out if you like this workout and you want to dive in even further. The link will be in the description. But otherwise, enjoy the workout. Let me know how you feel after you do. So first off, we'll get started with the ball handling and just kind of general warm up here. First thing we're doing is just a general rhythm skip. So you're gonna kind of freestyle the direction that you're going in forward, back to the side as you're in a skip. Here. Let's make sure we're going in different directions. We're switching up the moves, we're switching up the tempo a little bit, and we're gonna go for a minute here. Second one here is gonna be our high to low series. We're starting off pretty easy. All right, this is gonna be more of a you know, warm up, getting us into the workout. I'm starting off with a squat walk here. So I'm dribbling, I'm not really too worried about how you're dribbling, but I'm just in a, essentially a squat position. Walking out of that, I'm gonna walk to about the free throw line and back. Second one here, I'm thinking about going up and down. It's almost like a wave. I'm going as high as I can and then gradually getting into that low squat, walking back up. Third one here, I'm gonna be in a wider position here. I'm just taking kind of 45 degree angle steps here. Go any moves I want. Again, more so worried about shifting my weight and just kind of preparing my body for the workout. Last one here, I'm gonna add some speed into it. I'm going two where I'm kind of in that same lean that I was in in the last one. So I'm one, two out of that lean. I raise up for two kind of chill dribbles and then dropping back through cycling. Next drill or series here is gonna be our step out to backwards series. So all these I'm really gonna attack with a step forward use any move to get backwards, and then the main focus is attacking from there. So I'm going forwards to backwards, and again, that main point of emphasis is when I'm transitioning my body from going backwards to forwards and really making sure I lock in on that movement. First one here is just gonna be that big step out, moving backwards, a big step, and then exploding out of it. I'm gonna really push backwards, slow myself down, and then as unpredictably as possible, explode out of there. Third and final one here, same idea, but instead of getting fully backwards and taking kind of that big bound backwards, I'm cutting that halfway. So again, instead of thinking about getting all the way back here, I'm cutting it short and doing more of a quick explosion rather than really bounding backwards and then getting out of that. This will be our freestyle series. So we'll go four different types of dribble freestyles. Most of this is up to you. I'll give you kind of a theme for each one, but I really want you to get creative, try different things, mix up the moves, mix up the pace, pretty much everything else other than that theme I'm giving. So the first one here is gonna be what I call percentage freestyle. So the speed that you're going at, I want you to think of it like a percentage. So if I'm really slow here, it's like 5%. Let's say I'm really speeding up, that's 100%. The only rule here is that you have to change your percentage every two dribbles. That's what it look like this. one here is going to be our flow freestyle. Only rule here is that you can't take any normal dribble. So everything has to be a move, transitioning straight into that next move, rather than kind of resetting yourself with a normal pound dribble. Third one 
here is going to be a shifty freestyle. So now I'm thinking about every single move. I'm shifting my weight as much as possible. Really trying to get all my weight onto one foot, shifting back onto the other and transitioning through that smooth. Freestyle, up to you, you can go any moves, any pace, as shifty as you want to, as non-shifty as you want to, completely up to you. So for this English exploration series, I'm gonna be driving in however I want to, it's up to you, but I do want you to get your work in on these reps so you're not just kind of jogging in and finishing. Every single finish has to be outside of the square. All right, and the reason why I call this English exploration series is because you're gonna to have to find different ways to kind of spin that ball to get it outside of that square on the back foot. All right, maybe you go with the reverse and you spin it this way. Only rule is it has to be something different every single time, different angle, different type of finish. And we're gonna go for 15 base here. finishing athleticism series. So all these are gonna be more so working on your movement around the rim, body control, takeoff, a bunch of things that go into finishing that don't require you to have defense to train it the right way. So first one here is gonna be where you're jumping from outside of the paint. So obviously outside of this white line, kind of in the gray area here, I have to jump. If that's easy, I'm moving it back. I'm jumping further outside the paint. The goal here is to really jump from pretty far out. So I have to extend out. I have to kind of wait until I'm on the way down, making it tough to kind of have that touch and that body control to still fit. Second one here, I'm bouncing it to myself. And then at its highest point, I'm catching it, keeping it there. So these are gonna be off one foot. So I'm keeping it there and then finishing straight from there. This interestingly should almost feel like a core exercise. So every time we go overhead, let's say you're doing like a band exercise, you're resisting that force overhead. Same thing here where you're gonna kind of catch that ball and as you jump, you're gonna feel like you're barely getting off the ground. But the goal is to work on be, being able to explode up with your hands overhead, finish that way and also get a little bit explosive. Last one here is one that you'll probably look crazy doing, especially if you're at a public gym or whatever. But who cares, all right? Got two options here. Either you're throwing it to yourself, almost like open, you're about to go up and dunk it, or you're throwing it off of the back foot. Your goal is to be creative with how you catch it, kind of collect it in midair, and then finish from there. If it's easy, there are always ways to progress and you can switch hands, you can try to hang until you're almost on the ground. A ton of ways that you can make this more difficult. small guards, we're gonna have to be able to vary the way we do our pull up. So sometimes we'll have to get into the mid range and fade forward a little bit if somebody's following. Sometimes we're gonna have to get here and kind of jump backwards to create a few more inches of space. Sometimes we're gonna have to hang a little bit. All right, sometimes we're gonna have to shoot it on the way up to get it off quicker. So it's always gonna vary. What you're gonna do is rotate through these, all right? So it's gonna be four different shots. You're getting into it however you want to. First one is gonna be a shot where you're fading forward over a line. Second one is gonna be where you are getting into a pull up, you're really attacking that spot. And then from there, slightly jumping backwards. Third one is gonna be where you're hanging, you're shooting on the way down. The fourth one is gonna be on the way up. Then at the end, we'll go back to shoot those perfect pull ups, top of the jump, jumping straight up and down. So we'll still get that kind of ideal reps as well. Next is gonna be our scoring off of a rap series. So all these are gonna start with a rap dribble. So you 
kind of go from a slow speed, speeding it up into that. We're gonna go a few different options off of this. First one will be getting as far as you can. So if I'm here, I'm really trying to get as far as I can, maybe to the corner, all right, kind of setting a goal for yourself as to how much distance you're covering. Second one will be the exact opposite. You're trying to cover as little distance as possible, but get it off of the ground into that shot as quick as possible. So instead of getting long, it can be quick here. That's kind of tough because you have to get your feet set and up into the shot at the same time as the ball. Number three here is gonna be getting to the end of that wrap, slowing down, and then freestyling off of that. So I'll be here, I slow down, I really change pace, and I can separate, separate this way, I can separate downhill, I can shoot it from there, that's up to you. Then lastly, I'm getting moving back in the opposite direction. So after that wrap, I'm countering back with anything I want. The only catch here is that it has to be a different timing every time. So maybe one time I get to the end of that wrap and then go maybe one time to the beginning of that wrap where it's a little bit quicker out of that. Again, that's up to you, but you're getting into a floater off of that. setting a clock for one minute, you're getting your own rebounds, you're trying to get as many makes as you can. All right, you're gonna go three different themes. First one is just gonna be catch and shoot. So kind of trying out different footworks each time. I want you to try to make it a different spot, different footwork, overall different shot each time. Second one, you're going one dribble into the mid range. Again, it's gotta be something different every single shot. And the third one is freestyle. You can get into literally any type of shot you want that you wanna work. So like I said, if you like this workout, if you wanna dive deeper into this and train like this for three months, check out my Small Guard Essentials program. I'll put the link in the description. It's gonna be the most complete program you have ever done, and you're gonna become the most skilled, confident version of yourself. Check it out.